Hi, my name is Gina and I'm a veterinary student in my fourth and final year here at Tufts. This is an example of one of the plastic stiff e-collars that we showed earlier. This is how it comes and now we will assemble it. They are generally a little bit awkward and somewhat difficult to assemble even if you have had practice. Before you assemble it, you would want to measure the collar to the pet that you want to put it on. For this one, there are three options for fit. For the smallest, you would use this fit option, medium, and largest. To fit it to a pet, you would hold it around your pet's neck to approximate how big or small you would want it to be. Like this. Then, for this model, it has words that show you bottom and top for which piece should be on the outside and the inside. Top goes on the outside. The first step is to take this long piece and bend it into a loop like this. Then we will be threading it through these holders to secure the e-collar. First bend this loop and put it in here where it says start. You may have to punch out a piece of plastic in these two holes. Then, taking the option that you have chosen for the fit, you will thread it through this lower piece. Once it is like this, take this long piece and put it through the out the section labeled out. It takes a bit of maneuvering, but you will know you have done it correctly when you, the collar feels secure at this point. This part makes a nice loop, one of the loops that will be used to hold the collar on. Next, we have a similar scenario right here. Take the long piece, put it through this outer piece where it says in. Take the lower piece and this loop, thread it through there. Then there's a part labeled out and your long piece should come out there. Finally, there is a little cut here to secure the end. Now you can see that the e-collar is secure and in the shape of a cone. The last step is to take these other three pieces and make them into loops to hold the collar on with a tie or collar. These are also labeled in and out, but are easier than the long piece. Fold the loop and just thread it through this holder. Its edges will grab on. And now it is a secure loop. Do the same thing with the other two to complete your collar. Now the collar is complete and except for a tie, it is ready to put on a pet. There are different types of collars and you may just need to follow the instructions for the one you have to assemble it. If you are having difficulty, ask your veterinarian or a veterinary technician or assistant that works at the clinic to assemble it for you.